This song does not match at all. Howdy, partners. It's your boy John here. Welcome back to Planet Zoo. Nobody's here. Oh, okay. All right, last time we left off, we added this. It wasn't really an animal episode. We added in a train station. Yeah. Okay. Uh, today, I'm going to add in... I think there's really only three animals left to do. Um, hmm. I'm trying to decide so on something at the moment. Why is that going so slow? I, I, I'm going to um, connect this real quick. Hold on one second. Let me, let me do this while I'm thinking about it. And knock it down again. And then switch over to this. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to connect up... Um, Africa and Europe a little better a little better why is it like that okay well fine I'm not gonna complain as long as I can get it connected all right um, what was I saying all right so three animals are left I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put one here that's gonna be the Alpine I Ibex and then across the way over here I need to expand this because we're going to have um, a badger habitat and I want to have a gray seal habitat in here as well. But I have this space here that I'm going back and forth on. I might add in. I was thinking about downloading puffins. Adding some like uh, puffins into like a seaside ocean kind of themed exhibit. So maybe I'll do that. But today. Today, we're going to work on the Alpine Ibex. Um, so there's a few things I want to do before we get into this. Number one, I want to raise up this so it actually looks like mountains. Thank you. 
Okay. Yeah, you know what? I like that. I like that. I like that. Let's go ahead. We're going to get some uh, Ibex into here. Um, just do something real quick. This is bothering me, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to hide it. That's what I do with all my problems. I hide it. It's healthy. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Ibex. Let's see here. Animal trading. Reset all filters. Alpine. Ibex. Alright. Uh, what do we got? Let's get you. You. Yeah. Oh, wait, I, I should probably... Hold on. Let's let's read these real quick before we go any further. It's an expired. Oh, great. Okay. Okay. Alpine Ibex. Let's look over at... Hold on, this is bothering me. Get rid of all this stuff here. Zupedia, that's what I need. Okay, so the Alpine Ibex, or Capra Ibex, is a large species of mountain goat native to the Alpine regions of Italy, France, Germany, Switzerland, Austria, and Slovenia. Its thick coat is uniform brown on the body with a pale underside and a darker coloration on legs and tail. Alpine ibexes have large ridged horns that curve backwards towards the body. Males are much larger and heavier than females. They have 27.6 inches to 39.2 inch long horns, measure 4.9 feet to 5.64 feet in length and 3 feet to 3.4 feet in height and weigh 176 pounds to 220 pounds. Female ibexes have 7.2 inches to 14 inch long horns, measure 4 feet to 4.6 feet in length, and 2.4 feet to 2.8 feet in height, and weigh only between 37.4 to 70.4 pounds. Uh, already in medieval times, alpine ibexes were overhunted, and in the 1800s, the species was at the brink of extinction, hunted for their horns as trophies and other body parts believed to hold magical properties. Luckily, today, the alpine ibex has a healthy and sustained population thanks to captive breeding and reintroduction programs and is currently not endangered. One lingering effect of the species near extinction, however, is its low genetic diversity, making the alpine ibex vulnerable to inbreeding depression. Uh, this means there is a higher incidence of weak inbred offspring with congenital problems. Okay, so... One male, 19 females, uh, 2 to 20. So I think I'm good on what I have. Okay, well, let's put them in. Let's put them in. Animal trading. Over here. I might grab another female. I might. Okay. Animal trading. Let's get, yeah, let's get another one. Let's get another one. Oh, wait, hold on. Um, that one is that one is no good. Let's see. Neither of these are that great, to be honest. I think we'll just go with what we have. All right.
Hello? I, d I don't know. Um, for, uh, they, they, there's a lot, too many places for them to hide, I think. So I, either I bring in more of them, or I I kind of get rid of some of the hiding spots. That That's where I'm at right now. Let's add it to a work zone. Yeah, okay, there we go. But yeah, they're, they're not very visible to the uh, to the guests, which which is not good, not good. Um, what I could do Let's see here. What if I smooth? Yeah. Why do I have so many of these here? I don't know. Okay, put that there. Okay, I think that I think that'll help a little bit. It makes it easier for the guests to see them. You gonna climb that? Come on. All the way up. I need a thumbnail. All right. I kind of wish the male would have done this, because, you know, the bigger horns would have made a nicer picture. Anyway. Oh. Oh, perfect timing. Perfect timing. Yeah, look at that. Screenshot! Alright, partners, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, for free to click like and subscribe. Much appreciate it, it really helps me out. I, I think I need to put some kind of wall here. Whoopsie. I don't want these people randomly walking off. Oh, they're getting pictures with them. Look at that. Well, that's spooky. Look at that. Okay. Yeah, let me just see. <laughs> That's cool. Alright, well, partners, I'm going to go ahead and call this here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to click like and subscribe. Very much appreciated. It really helps me out. And I will see you, partners, next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Thanks so much for watching, partners. And before we end this episode, I just want to say uh, for the duration of this series, we will be running a slightly different fundraiser from what we usually do. You guys know I usually run a uh, charity fundraiser on my videos, but for this series, I am going to be running a charity donation for the Texas Parks and Wildlife Native Wildlife and Endangered Species Fund, which you guys are not familiar with it. It helps to raise money for the protection of threatened species and their environments here in Texas. So if you guys want to help them out, I will have the link to the donation site down in the description. Feel free to check that out if you're able to. And uh, yeah, thank you again so much for watching, partners. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>